What's up? You're in the kitchen with Chef Carl Andre, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make keto egg bites. I'm gonna put my spin on it and show you how to get down in your kitchen. What's up, guys? We're back. We're ready to do my favorite part the mise en place, the ingredients. Let's do a quick rundown so we can get straight into the video. So, here we have a pan, we have um, a strainer, we have a bowl, and I'll explain those things in a minute. We have our egg pan that is a uh, silicone no 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 oil needed so i'm gonna set that off to the side now on to the food ingredients i have a one pound bag of cheese i have a one pound thingy of bacon five ounces of plain non-fat uh, greek yogurt i have italian herb sun-dried tomatoes i have a dozen of eggs i have a spatula and we will be using a blender and we have salt and pepper. Now, uh, this is gonna cook the eggs. This is going to strain the uh, sun-dried tomato juice because we don't want that. And this is for the bacon. So the first thing that I'm going to do is strain, ah, okay, there we go. Strain the sun-dried tomatoes. So that way that can kind of sit and do its thing while we do everything else. Maybe I need a spoon, right? Something at night anything to assist me here we go so you guys can see there we go. hopefully it doesn't fall over and make a mess all right there we go now this is going to be a really quick and simple recipe we're not going to chop anything except for the bacon we're just going to keep it very simple very easy so now i'm going to take the bacon and i'm going to shingle that in the pan let's get it all out there we go so i know you guys probably seen me shingle bacon before but you know i feel like we can never shingle bacon too much together so i'm just going to take it lay it out i guess neatly nicely there we go all right i'm going to finish shingling the bacon make a bit of a mess but it's okay and then we'll come back when it's time to do the eggs. See you guys in a second. All right, we're back. The bacon, I just slid in the oven a few seconds ago. Cameraman, follow me. Don't pay attention to the top rack. We're doing the bottom. We got the bacon in. We're going to cook it for about 20 minutes just until it gets nice and crispy. So it could be about, I'll say, 17 to 20, just depending upon your oven. I have mine set at 375. You guys can set yours at 350. You don't need it quite so high. Um, now we're going to move on to the egg mixture area. So I'm going to take my five ounce container of um, plain non-fat Greek yogurt. There you go, so you guys can see. Put that in. It's weird doing everything left-handed. So that way you guys can see. So if it seems a little messy or all over the place, I'm sorry. All right, we'll make sure we get every little drop out. Leave no man behind. All right. There we go. So now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add the whole bag of cheese to the blender. Woohoo! This was just a four steak cheddar. So you can get whatever cheese you like, whatever cheese you prefer. Just make sure that it's a pound. So now I'm going to crack the eggs. Actually, let me do this correct. Excuse me, cameraman. So that way we don't get any shells or anything in the eggs that shouldn't be in there. Let me crack my eggs into a bowl so that way I make sure that I'm doing this correctly. And this is the way I would do it if I was working at a restaurant somewhere. So I'm trying to teach you guys how to be a restaurant chef at home. Then once I crack all the eggs, then I'll move them into the blender. So that way we can verify that there's nothing that shouldn't be in the dish. So I'm going to finish cracking these eggs. And then we'll come back, throw it in the blender. And then we'll prepare it together. See you guys back in a second. Alright, so we got all 12 eggs that have been cracked into a bowl. I have verified that there are no shells. Yay me! All right, so now we're going to pour it in here slowly so I don't make a mess everywhere. And I still have my scraper to get all the other 
eggs that were left behind. Remember, this food wasn't for free, so we want it all. So now I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to blend it on about medium just until everything is incorporated. Now, I didn't add in any salt and pepper, and the reason why I didn't do that now because we're blending it way too long. And I don't want the pepper to turn the eggs uh, like black or gray, kind of looking like charcoal. So we're going to hold off on that until the end. So let's just get everything emulsified and then we'll start seasoning. Looks like everything is incorporated. You see a few little cheese chunks, that's perfectly okay. We're just making sure that all the yolks are well mixed in and the yogurt that we use. We use the yogurt to give it just a little bit of creaminess, um, just a little bit of silkiness to it. So now I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to take two generous pinches of salt. Then I'm going to take a pinch and a half of pepper and we're literally just going to blend for like five seconds i don't even know if it's going to be that long done done so i'm going to put this in the refrigerator until the bacon is ready then we'll come back to it we'll chop up the bacon and then we'll we'll fill the pan up and then we'll throw in our toppings so i'll see you guys back in about 13 minutes all right, so I wanted to give you guys a quick tip real quick and share with you guys. I want you to make sure that you flip your bacon halfway through so that way it does not burn and get all crispy on one side versus the other. So uh, yeah, just make sure you guys are flipping your bacon. All right, so we're almost finished halfway through with this. So I'll see you guys back in a few seconds. So we're back. The bacon is finished. Cameraman, let's pull up on the bacon. Nice, crispy, ready to be chopped up. Now, we don't have to like mince it up or anything. We can just get, you know, some nice chunks on it. So that way we can still see the bacon as we bite into our wonderfully delicious meal or breakfast that we're making. I like this breakfast because you can freeze it. You don't have to freeze it. You can throw it in the microwave at home, at work. You can make it for your kids so that way everybody stays on track with their health goals and you don't have to worry about people burning down the house, not knowing what to make or getting donuts like I like to do when no one's looking. So this is our bacon. We chopped it up. We have our uh, sun-dried tomatoes over there in the corner. Now I'm going to slide down, cameraman, and I'm going to get my pan, get that put in place. So we get everything. I'm gonna slide further down. I'm going to get our egg mixture, put it back because it separated a little bit because it was sitting. So we're gonna just let it zhuzh until it incorporates. Now we're done zhuzhing. So now that we got that taken care of, we got the yogurt in here, we got the cheese, the salt, the pepper, of course the eggs. So now we're gonna just throw it into the pan. Uh, oh, 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 one second, I wanna show you guys something. I set my oven to 300. While I was uh, heating up my oven, I put in a pan of water to get that nice and warm so we can get like a steaming effect so it doesn't just bake and get brown, but it's soft, tender, and delicate. All right, cameraman, you're gonna come back with me. And I'm going just to take a pinch of chopped bacon, a pinch of sun-dried tomatoes, and get that all in there. I'm going to repeat until I run out, and then I'll see you guys when it's time to throw it in the oven. Remember, oven is preset to 300, and you have a nice little pan of water, a water bath. So I'll see you guys back in a second. All right, cameraman, pull it tight so we can see our almost finished product. We filled them up uh, basically to the top. We threw in our bacon, our uh, sun-dried tomatoes. So now the oven's at 300. We got that water bath that's been chilling in there on the bottom rack, which is also important. Now we're going to throw in our anything. There you go. Get you a little pan to put underneath it. So that way you can slide it in easily and slide it out even easier. 
there we go so i'll see you guys back in 30 minutes if you want 15 minutes into it you can take a little peeky peek but you don't have to because it's gonna cook nice good low and slow all right see you guys back all right so we're back cameraman pulling tight let's get this they're hot i'm gonna flip them over Woo! Got one more stuck in there all right so these are our beautifully baked egg bites we want them to cool a little bit so i'm gonna make some room should take about 10 minutes but here they go i'm gonna come back when they're nice and cool the uh mini egg bites they are finished it has bacon cheese yogurt it has sun-dried tomatoes it was baked with a water bath at 300 for 40 minutes so now it's time for me to do the taste test Actually, I didn't want to burn my mouth today. Woo! Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Woo! Oh my God. So good. It's smooth. It's velvety. It's creamy. Silky. Mmm. 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 Like always, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm.